Most fetching, was she not? I haven't noticed. But that is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Make that more than one. Oh, oh shit! My route is blocked. It may take me some time to reach him. Ah. I just, I just gotta wait and tap X. Oh, X to dodge. Fucker. To finish off the lichen. Oh. Brutal. Biatch. Oh! Damn, they're fucking me up. Almost done. Oh, he got up. Ah, uh, no, don't. Ah, uh. Monsieur, what happened? Uh, I slew most of them. The last one got away. The grain, I need your arm gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Oh, that was the flute time. Oh, we ain't got time to wait. Don't worry, mate. I got you. I'm gonna get this fucker. Woo! Got him right before he jumped on that person. I like it at the perfect time. I wonder what would happen if I wouldn't have shot in time. Everyone all right? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. He's <laughs> <laughs> just poking them. What the fuck? <laughs> Sir, what should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Why, Chuck? Well, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and 
You may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the Rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders. Mm -hmm. And then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? <laughs> the Facebook poke. We meet in council two days hence. He was waiting if for that uh, the honor of presenting that the poke case. battle to come up. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Let's see who has the last Where poke. Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. Precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the council. I got so many of those battles, and it's the silliest thing. Yet. Yeah, I know. It's you know what? Speaking of, centuries. I'm gonna have, have to lose. hold on. I'm gonna wait after this. But, but I used to do the same shit. Everybody has. Sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Hold on. Did the Maybe. Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave. Let me wait by a new until after this cutscene. The rebellion. So I don't miss what they're as saying. As it's campaign, and then I'll go into the settings and see what I can work out for you. To continue. I also moved the, the mic a little bit away from my face so that way if we turn the volume up, it might not be. You know what I mean? Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest <laughs> for true arch, well, I'll still try. Lucius, I'll still try. He did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. Oh yeah, this no problem. Yeah, I just, uh, I know how to Sir fix that. Just give me a, but the current disruption yeah. calls give me a minute for here. and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of Okay. I adjusted the volume. How am I am I lower? Am I lower right now? If 
I'm not really that much lower. I can turn it lower. I do know how. Um, if I'm too low, also tell me that. I just turn it down a, a few clicks. So just kind of let me know. I have no problem adjusting the volume because I can't hear myself. You may have seldom few so I don't know how sensitive this mic actually is. You believe the evidence now to qualify. So yeah, so y'all, you you would have to tell me. <laughs> But father, what if Percival is right? We seldom have time to sit and wait if the rebels are behind oh, us. The council has dad? made its ruling. There is nothing more to discuss, Isabeau. We should at least gather some intelligence. The authorities okay. will see to that. Father, the order cannot <laughs> stand idly by while half Well, I mean, with this little streets. dialogue they got going you on, this would be a, that there is some a good truth test. To what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the council's wisdom? Yes, Lord Chancellor. Oh shit! Bad blood brewing in the fam. Hey, yeah, no problem. I'm here for you. Remember that. Uh, let me turn on the light so that when my face is not so dark because uh, last time Nex's cousin, not Nex's cousin, but last time Nex did not tell me that my face was like completely darkened up <laughs> and couldn't even see me. So give me a second to turn on that light. Oh, and really quick, I just, I, I just saw that one. Yeah, no. You ain't, you're not rude at all. Trust me. Like, simple request. It's not like you're saying, oh, no, you need to do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that. Or, you know, you're not being all rude about it. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, next. Um, yeah, so anyways, let me get that light. <laughs> yeah, definitely Casper. <laughs> all right. Let's uh let's head back to it. Oh yeah, look, you're doing the little uh ribbon of the traps there, you know. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to uh, America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Huh. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may? Um, if you'd permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Oh, damn, these dogs are going off. off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? 
Perhaps uh, it might regain a semblance of the humanity you lost. Of theirs, I don't know. When time came to join yes. the order. Yes, the detail is amazing. Me. Definitely. Regardless, I will not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. And the accents they did. Like I said, the voice acting is pretty damn good. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, uh, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. You say true. <laughs> What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Yeah, they. You could tell that they took every at your service, every okay. detail into consideration. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the, the way the clothes moves, the lighting, the voice acting, the facial features, the like the mannerisms, the accents. It's all done really well. That's for sure. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. The lighting, in my opinion, can quite literally make or break a game. For sure. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Th did I just, uh, miss that? Do they really... They just had it focusing to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, um, in the meanwhile, this guy. take a look around. Uh, and then when whatever strikes or fancy. Gala had started but speaking, do be careful. They blurred this guy out and put the focus on Galahad instead of like just keeping them both in focus the whole time. Like That's pretty that's pretty awesome. That's definitely like that cinematic appeal to it. No, the and the lighting, yes I agree. It's it's definitely huge. There's actually a bunch of videos you can find online about lighting, how the lighting can make you look like uh, what was what was the number? Like so many different ways, like sad, evil, holy fucking like all all this stuff. Like Nicola. How fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. Oh, this supposed to be a uh, man is an idiot. Oh, may the great man win, your friend Thomas. Yeah, Tesla and uh, yeah, Edison. Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Oh, that's an old school communicator, huh? Is that it? Yeah. So you can see there in the middle, that's all copper. I don't know what that energy source is. They definitely took. Look at look at that lighting. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Like, see, like, right here? It looks like... I don't know. It's just dope. Exactly. The, the shiny goodness. <laughs> All gibberish to me. 
Nicola. You sly dog. Oh, wow. So this was, um... Uh, what were they called? Uh, there's, there's a word for it. <sighs> Something house. Um... I'm not. I'm not thinking of the more uh, um, offensive term. I'm thinking, what was it? What was it called? Did it start with a B? Sir Galahad. What was it called? I know the name. I can think of the name. Uh, Sir Galahad. Yes, Tesla. I'm coming. Relax. Please, this way. What is the name of it? I'm gonna have to look that up right now. Hold on. A brothel. That's what it is. <laughs> Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert I knew it started with Edison's a B. inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite <laughs> handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised oh. of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Uh, inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please try it. All right, so, uh, oh, whoops. So I say, uh, lock the moving, lock the moving mercury between the. Okay, uh, click and hold L three to lock the left. Click and hold. L okay, so it's uh. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. Huh. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. Sniper rifle? Essex 84 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. <laughs> like, hell yeah, man. What do you mean? Oh, where you put your fingers on and it just like follows it. Um, what is that? What was that called? I always saw them in the stores with some generic ass name. Um, is that what it was? A plasma ball? Recoil is sharp. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? <laughs> the offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Plasma ball. Oh, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it.